What's up guys? Um today I'm gonna be coming to y'all about this video that you know y'all been waiting for. I re I, I'm reposting this video. This is an entire different video. I had to delete the other one because it was off my voice was off like most of my videos and it sucks so much because i don't have a good computer i have to rely on google drive to basically take my picture pictures and videos and put them on this thing and i have to download them onto my computer long story short you know it just went bad so this one i'm gonna be shit i'm gonna be coming to y'all with the time i got caught fucking my ex and her house shit went down let's get it I sell, I shell, I bag, I seal, I swag, that Gucci, that look, for real, big knots, in my, Balmain's, it is, the thing, under, this low. Damn, this sun is cooking me like a motherfucking frog on a damn, and boiling in damn water, some shit. But nah, mm, shout out to Miss Rated, I see her already texting me, I already know what the fuck, I don't know, but nah. Um, I'm not making this to this video or nothing like that. I have the utmost respect for my ex. You know, we got us a 100 day streak. Obviously, we have our differences. We're not going back to none of that shit. But like I said, this is nothing bad on her. I just, this happened to me too. So it's not like I'm putting her down. So don't, none of y'all don't feel like that. Or I hope that if you're watching this, I hope you're not feeling no way about it either. Because, you know, this shit happened so long ago. And I got shit stolen on my own too. So y'all gonna find out right now. So basically... Me and my ex, we had us a relationship for about two years. It was on and off, bad and good. I messed up. And I apologize. I still do every single every single time this gets brought up or whatever. You know, I was never really a good... Don't get me fucked up. I did everything for that girl. So, you know, don't get me fucked up on that. But I did fuck up a lot of times. First year, I was a hoe. Second year, I ain't listen. So, basically, it was you get what I'm saying. I have a video, unfortunately. It's coming out. The time, you know... I was caught cheating on some dyke shit, you know, some shit happened, but y'all gonna find out about that a little later. So, I'm gonna make this real short, just for the simple fact that I don't have that much storage in my phone right now, because I've recorded those videos that either I just posted it, or they're gonna be posted. So, basically, my girlfriend, this, her house is really small, so like, you know, it's, it's really easy for me to get in there. She has, she's a... I'm not gonna describe like none of that shit, like what she's about, how she is, what's her race and all that. But her parents really don't like want her to date. And if you already know, you know, you can kind of picture like what that is like. But so basically I got in, I'm in, I'm in her house. Let me go ahead and start there. I'm in her house while her parents are in there. They don't know I'm in there. I do this shit all the time. I fuck, I leave. That's that simple. Get my dick sucked. I eat her pussy. Look, this is some shit that's with me. I like pleasure more than I'm pleasure, females. Just in case y'all don't know, but I'm talking to somebody right now. Rated DG talking to somebody. I ain't never really had that phrase and we're talking, but I'm saying that shit, nigga. I'm talking to somebody, you know? But no, uh, um, so like I said, long story short, I'm in her house and it's a stormy night, you know, and it's about 8 p.m. My mom basically called me on my phone. She called me, she was like, all right, look, you been over there, it's time for you to go. My mom already knows I'm fucking my 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 my, my fucking girlfriend at the time. She knows I'm fucking. Like I when I first told her, you know, it was it was whatever. Like I came clean, I didn't give a fuck, man. You know, you you doing the booty? You doing the booty? Like I don't know why she asked me like that, but she's like, are you doing the booty, son? I was like, yes, nigga, I'm doing the booty. But anyways, I was like, I ain't eating no booty though. Don't get me fucked up. I'll never eat a bitch ass, and I'll never fucking suck toes. Sorry, Miss Ray Dad. <laughs> So we in that bitch fucking. I'm talking about she on me. She trying to do whatever she can do, you know. Trying to do whatever she doing. I'm sitting here, I'm enjoying myself. Next thing I know, not even a bust in, none of that shit. A crunk, push, door squeak, yaddy. <laughs> oh, I said her damn day. Yeah, that's a little initial. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm not, I already did that and I had to delete the damn video, but I ain't going to delete this one. So basically, her mom opened the door, and let me tell y'all why. Her mom opened the door because her baby brother needed to be watched. So, you know, with that being said, it's like, it was really a fuck situation. Her mom came in all surprised and everything. It was sad, bro. But when I tell you, she came in with black appearance. Came in that bitch, slapped the fuck out of your I'm talking about putting almighty God force into her cheeks, bro. Like, literally, boom. Your 
Okay, doing that shit. This girl is not really dressed. I'm not really dressed. So this is embarrassing as hell. She gets fucking hit about three, four times. My ass gets hit like twice. Her mama fucking hit me too. Don't get me fucked up. I'm not dissing her. Her mama slapped the fuck out of me. It really, it didn't hurt though. That shit was bitch like, you know what I'm saying? I take that shit. I was like, <laughs> you know, but nah, she hit me, man. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn, we really just got caught fucking. So we get up. She gets up. She's trying to calm her mom down. Her mom is talking very fast in a language that I did not understand. So with that being said, she's trying to calm her down. I don't know what's going on. I have my shirt on and I'm just in underwear and I could have been dipped. I'm sitting here chilling in the fucking room watching them argue. I'm like, oh, this is very fascinating. You know what I'm saying? So basically I'm chilling. Next thing I know, I hear shouts. I hear, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you saying, yo? And, and like I said, it's not and it's, and it's not a language that I understand, but I knew that it was a name. Um, And I'm not very stupid. If it's just one word and you're yelling, and I know that parents are in the house, I'm gonna know that it's something going down. So instantly I knew it was, she was calm for that. She was calm for her dad. So I was like, hold on. Rated ain't sticking around, nigga. Pew! You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how the cartoons, they be. And then they run, my nigga. That's what I did. Yo, I'm sitting here, I'm talking about. I literally sat here and fucking jetted to the bathroom. Tried to close that motherfucking door like that was gonna do something. I closed the door and I tried to lock it, bitch. Like the nigga couldn't break it down. But I went in the bathroom real quick. And I hesitated so bad. She, Eurixa tackled her fucking mom on the bed. She fucking Batista bombed this bitch. She said, mm, come here, speared her dumb ass. I was like, but you know me, I had to get up out of there. So basically what happened was I went to the bathroom real quick, locked the door, pulled the blinds up. And when I tell you, <laughs> my beats, they were right there on the sink. My beats, my Kobe's, my jacket I just bought for my nigga. It was a reflectable jacket. This shit was so fire, my nigga. I, I, the shit was right there. Damn, my phone about to die. But I, I jumped out the window. And when I tell you, when I jump out the window, I can feel her mom grabbing my ankles. Like, I just felt that. I felt like there was a body on me. And I'm like, holy shit, let me get the fuck. So, like I said, it was a stormy night. I literally jumped out of the window into mud, my nigga. Like, on some white boy shit, I was literally mudding my ass out of there. I fucking, I got on my horses. I got out the damn window. I fucking ran. She has a gate. And it's a shitty gate. It's a fucking wired gate, whatever it is. I leaped that bitch like I was motherfucking Usain Bolt. I'm talking about, I hit that corner so motherfucking fast. I said, bang, I hit that corner. I got to the front of their house and I dipped. I got my bike and I got on my horses. I stole this bitch. I think it was that night. I stole that damn bike. It was a little bitch bike. So I was gone, my nigga. So I literally got down the road and everything. I was tripping out. I didn't know what to do. I seen a car behind me. I literally jumped off my bike into the fucking ditch because i thought it was her dad i was paranoid as fuck my nigga like remember she was young for her dad i dipped so i didn't know what was going on so basically i'm on my, i'm on the road i'm saying you're paranoid i finally get to the house i finally fucking get to the house i get to the house it's about an hour later because we was fucking i was supposed to come home so we i got how i got to the house my motherfucking sister opened the door she can't clutch for it nigga you know what i'm saying I was drenched in fucking water. It was thundering. Oh yeah, when I was on the road, nigga, it was literally lightning. Like I, I, I didn't give a fuck. I was about to stop at a nigga's house, you know, to tell him to take me home or something. Cause I'm telling you, it was real life, like thundering and shit. But I was like, no, nah, I gotta get home. I get home, walk up the stairs. My sister opens the door, you know, all good and all. And I'm drenched. I, you know, I went to my room immediately, immediately. Like that nigga SpongeBob, immediately. And then I, I fucking took off her shirt, cause I was wearing her damn shirt. And I was just in underwear, so you know, I got to the house, I really didn't have shit on. I had my socks on, that shit was muddy as hell. And you know, that was just that, man. That was, that was the time I got caught fucking, you know? And that was kind of weird, cause she just came in out of nowhere, bro. And I've been in that house so many times, I'd never expected it. Like, you know, that I knew it was gonna happen, but like, I didn't think it was gonna happen. I've been in that house maybe about, I wanna say 50, 60, Somewhere around there, I can't really keep count because, like I said, I just go there, I just fuck, come back, it be whatever. I just go ahead and go. I jump in the window all the time. I don't, I don't care, you know. But all that's over with. Yeah, I just had to put this video out because I know y'all niggas. I had to re-upload it. I already said I was going to, so this is why I'm doing it now, man. I hope y'all niggas fuck with this video, bro. Like, it takes a lot out of me to do some shit like this, you know. I'm not trying to down my ex, you know. I fuck with her. I fuck with her strong. But like I said, there's differences, you know. We not, we not talking nothing like that, but. It's still all love, basically. Oh, definitely, I still love her. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, that's always gonna be like that. But why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God! Stop fucking lying!
Bitch, stop in my heart, bitch, not on her carpet and look on her scar, bitch. Your girl bleed, my girl's cute, your girl sleeping, my girl dream. They all creeping, we all creeping, we all creeping, they all screaming. We all eating, we all shit, we all bleeding, we all fleeing.